guys, this is Sarah, and I'm coming to you for my week 95 VSG update. And um, week 11 um, Prego update. So I'm going to jump to the numbers. I didn't have them for you last week, but I do have some this week. Um, I started my journey at um, on April the 26th, 2012. At that time, I weighed in at 357 pounds. I had my surgery in um, Nashville, Tennessee with Dr. Brandon Williams at Vanderbilt um, Hospital. Uh, not last week, but the week before, I came to you at 181, and this week I'm 183. <laughs> so, oh, four, 184, sorry. Um, so I'm up three pounds. That's where I was getting the three. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, four minus one is three, yeah. So I'm up three pounds. Um, I'm trying really hard not to sweat about that, but I am freaking out um, a little. I, I joined this uh, group on Facebook called um, Pregnancy After Weight Loss Surgery, and um, everybody on there is really nice. It's a really great group. If you are even thinking about becoming pregnant. There's a lot of women on there that aren't even pregnant, um, but they that's just something that they are interested in. And so you don't have to be pregnant to be a part of that group, but it is like a closed group. So when you get pregnant, it's really nice um, because I could post stuff on there uh, before, you know, like we were telling our friends and family um, <clears throat> about the pregnancy. So um, it's a really... I mean, it's neat, but people are constantly posting stuff, and when I, I had been on there for a couple weeks before I finally posted my, hi, my name is Sarah, I had vertical sleeve, blah, 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 I'm this many months out, and, um, you know, I was asking about weight gain, and I got really upset because there was a lot of girls, now, there was some that had, but there was a really 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 large amount of women who had were like really far along in their pregnancy and I had not gained any weight at all and um it kind of bothers me it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong um and I really you know I'm really not so um I don't know I mean I, I'm, tw I'm I'm 11 weeks I'm 11 in weeks in um two or three days. So I'm well on my way into the 12 weeks. Um, and I have a little pooch. Now in saying that, my belly, you know, it's shaped funny. I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. It, um, it is shaped a little funny, um, but my pants are tighter, my regular pants. Um, I had been given a lot of maternity clothes. My best friends, my best friend and her sisters, they had these like three huge tubs of stuff they kind of passed back and forth. And, um, they gave me their stuff, and then my sister-in-law, you know, she had a baby, uh, well, June of last year, and so I got all of her stuff, and I actually started wearing some of those maternity pants, um, last week. I didn't want to, but Brianna, my best friend, kept saying, just put them on, and, uh, then she's been like, oh my gosh, they look so great, and blah, 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 blah. It's just weird because, you know, it's the lower belly that where the gain kind of is, where the where the pressure is, which is exactly where the baby is. Um, but I have this extra fat roll, you know, on top. So my, my belly is not a one solid loop. And y'all have seen that before, and I'm gonna, I am going to show you in a minute. Um, <clears throat> but the problem is, is that if things fit tight here, it pooches this fat roll out. So, um... That has been one good thing about the maternity pants. I didn't wear them every day, and like yesterday, I didn't wear maternity pants. And I'm not wearing maternity pants today. Um, so, I don't know. I, my best friend keeps getting mad at me, and my husband keeps getting mad at me because I just keep going back and forth and saying stuff about my weight, and um, I just feel really gross. <laughs> and I, it makes me feel really, really guilty and really, really sad because um, I am so blessed to be pregnant and to be having a baby. And, um, I, you know, I, I, I wouldn't take this moment in time for anything, but I just, I had had fears that I was going to have issues with, um, weight during the pregnancy, but I had, I was hoping I was wrong, but I wasn't wrong. 
Um, but I know three pounds is not like a real gain. Um, and I know that because, you know, like, you know, even yesterday, like my rings were falling off. And then I put on some jeans, some regular jeans last night when I was, because my best friend's going out of town. So I was trying to go ahead and pack for the week and, you know, they fit fine. Um, so it's not everything. It's just some things are a little snugger, like right across my waistline. Um, which I think is pretty typical. And everything that I was reading for a normal pregnancy, not a weight loss surgery pregnancy, um, was saying in the first trimester, which I've only got like a week or two weeks left, um, a five pound gain is normal, is average. And then I had read some stuff about if you're overweight, which technically I'm still considered overweight. Um, I was about 180 when all this got started. So, uh, or 181, somewhere in there when all this got started. Um, and then I dipped back down to 176 and then kind of back up again. Um, you're only supposed to gain like 15 to 20 pounds. Um, I don't know. I, I have real fears and anxieties so that the doctor's going to say something to me about it. I hope that she want, won't. Um, she's not like the friendliest person in the whole world. She has been thus far to me, but my husband's going today and I don't really think she likes me in. I don't know. That's a whole nother. Issue in itself. I'm just whining about a lot of stuff I didn't whine about. Um, the nausea has been better. Um, I'm still extremely exhausted, and I'm really looking forward to the second trimester because supposedly that's not going to be as bad. Um, I had pink eye last week, which I think I talked about in last week's video. Um, I was going to talk about the weight gain and my belly. I should have wrote this stuff down. That's terrible. Oh, 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 I know what I was going to talk about. So... Um, my initial, I go back to the doctor today. It will be, um, my second doctor's post, uh, my second visit to the doctor. And, um, I'm really excited about that. I probably should have waited to make this video until after the doctor, but I didn't even think about it. Um, because we'll get to hear the baby's heartbeat again. And I know that we're still pregnant. I mean, you know, I, I still have, um, still feel icky and I don't know. But you just, you know, there's just a lot of anxiety um, around. And my mom was 12 weeks when she had a miscarriage. And I don't know, it's just a lot of anxiety about stuff. And so, um, I am excited about going back to the doctor day and just at least hearing the baby's heartbeat. But last week, so four weeks ago, when I went back to the doctor, my first visit, they did some blood work on me. And some of the blood work they did was this genetic testing, um, which I had to sign to have done. And it tests for three things, and I can't remember what they all were. Um, just generic things. Uh, well, one of them was cystic fibrosis. One of them was sickle cell anemia. I was just reading that. I mean, I know I can't have sickle cell anemia. Um, and there was another one, but I can't remember what it was. And then like a week later, somebody at the doctor's office called me and told me that my genetic testing had come back and everything was fine. Well, last week, I get a phone call from the doctor's office, and it was another nurse that I know that I actually go to church with, and I was so upset when she called me that I never even stopped to think, to ask, to say, that's really weird because they'd already called me once and told me everything was fine. So, I'm going to ask about that today. Um, well, I didn't even finish that. Um, so, apparently, it turns out I'm a carrier for cystic fibrosis, and um, the... <laughs> Last week was a really emotional week. Uh, I, you know, I know that doesn't mean anything at this point. Um, Ed had to go in and have his blood tested. If he also ends up being a carrier, we will have to seek some genetic counseling um, to kind of weigh out our options. Um, Abortion is not an option for me, so that, that wouldn't be anything we'd be interested in. And also, I refuse to have an amniocentesis. Um, just read a lot of bad stuff about that. I know some women who had some really bad experiences with that. Um, so basically, if my husband's a carrier, the rest of the pregnancy will be, um, unless I'm misunderstanding, unless there's some other option to determine cystic fibrosis, uh, the rest of our pregnancy will kind of just, you know, the next six months will just kind of be in a state of, are we going to have a baby that has cystic fibrosis or not? Um, my mom's best friend's son who was my age, uh, we're actually like nine months apart. He died a couple years ago. He had cystic fibrosis. Um, so I know firsthand, um, you know, <clears throat> which is probably why I've been so upset. We also go to 
to church with a little boy who uh, has it. And um, they're always doing fundraisers and stuff for them. And I know that there's, you know, this is not set in stone and it's not saying that, you know. But I think any time that you hear there could potentially be something wrong with your children, you probably always feel this way. So, um, I have a lot of anxiety about that. I Honestly, I didn't work out at all last week uh, between Brianna being gone and then getting that bad news. And, um, and so maybe that has something to do with the weight gain. My food was very, uh, you know, was pretty good, and I will tell you guys this. I've been getting really upset about my carb intake, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed it, and I don't know how to change it, but my fitness pal with an update, um, it doesn't give you straight numbers anymore that I can find. It just gives you this, like, pie chart, and it tells you, you know, your carbs for the day were 30%, your protein for the day was 25%, or whatever, um, and then, like, your fats or whatever. And I prefer having a solid number. I don't know why. I don't know why. But, um, so my carbs have been most days, not every day, but most days have been way higher than my protein. Um, sometimes it's been like, like I was saying, like a 5% difference. And then, um, other days it's been higher than that. And on some of those days, you know, I might have eaten a chip or I might have, uh, had some Cheez-Its or something, but well, like, for example, uh, the other morning, I logged in all my food. I can't remember what I had. I think I had an egg. And sometimes, if I get up really, really early, I will, instead of considering it a snack, I'll act like, I'll just act like it's one solid breakfast, but it's not. I don't eat that much at one time. It's kind of like a, I'll have eaten an egg, and then, like, an hour later, I might go back and eat a banana or something. But eating those extra fruits and vegetables really add on the carbs. And so that's why my carb intake has been ristankulous. And um, I've really gotten upset about that because my carbs have been so much higher. And it's not like I'm eating crap. Now, I'm not saying I haven't eaten crap. But just in general. And I, I know that I'm eating good, healthy foods. And I'm making good, healthy choices. So I know that's what I really need to be focusing on at this point. Um, and I have tried to include, like, some whole grains in my, like, this morning I had a, um, whole grain egg McMuffin, which is, like, 80 calories, um, because I've been trying to include more whole grains because that's what's, you know, they, they recommend that in a healthy pregnancy diet. So, I have, I, I, I'm struggling with the weight. I'm struggling with the carbs, the, the numbers, and, and I know that this is all ridiculous and that I really... At this point in my journey, it's different. I'm not losing weight anymore. This is just about um, me doing what's right for my body and my baby. Hold on. 